Howdy, it's Jubal Kane again. Today I'm standing uh, alongside of my clausing lathe at the tailstock and thought I'd tell you uh, something about different tailstock accessories, starting first with uh, some of the different centers that can be used in the tailstock. Now the clausing has a number three Morse taper, so these are all number three Morse tapers. First and most commonly used is the uh, dead center. Now these are made out of high speed steel and uh, of course used to support work when you're turning between centers but they can also be used to uh, check the tool height so you always want to have one of these handy. And these are fairly inexpensive and it's a later uh, video I will show you how to grind these or regrind them on the uh, do more tool post grinder. Also notice that I set nothing on the lathe bed. That should always be protected, especially never lay a file on it. Consider it to be a precision surface. Uh, next I wanted to show you a ball bearing center and there are many different styles and uh, sometimes it's called a live center and by the way the other one sometimes called a dead center but uh, this is ball bearing and uh, they come in uh, like I say many different styles now whenever you install one of these always make sure you wipe it clean there's no chips on it and uh, wipe out the inside of the tailstock quill without getting your fingers stuck too by the way so just about everybody has these and uh, years ago when we used the, the dead center we always had to use some type of high pressure lubricant in the center hole or white lead but uh, we've done away with that when we <coughs> started using ball bearing centers which are really nice here is my favorite ball bearing center and this is made by Concentric Company and these are very expensive. Uh, they are spring loaded. That is, as you push this in, uh, there's a spring in there so that you have a very stiff spring. So you've got about uh, maybe a quarter inch of travel there. And the beauty of that is sometimes your work expands as you are machining as it heats up. And uh, this will allow for that. So. Uh, this is a particularly nice one. These are well over a hundred bucks though. Very costly. So it's also the other nice thing about this is that uh, they are very compact. And so sometimes uh, a big center is in the way and you can use this little compact uh, concentric spring loaded center. A wonderful tool. This is called a bullnose uh, live center come in many different sizes this is kind of a small one and they're of course ball bearing as well and they can be used to support large work such as tubing or pipe uh, or something like that that you're turning between centers or maybe you have one end in the chuck and you need to support the other end and and that can be supported like this and will rotate with the work a very useful tool bull nose live center get yourself one of those now in a moment we'll step over to the little atlas lathe and show you some similar items. I'm now standing at the tailstock of my little atlas craftsman lathe which is a 12 inch and what I'm going to show you here really isn't much different than what I showed you before other than this is a number two Morse taper but it's a smaller lathe and uh, I, I was uh, these are the, really the same only they're smaller this is a, a dead center or uh, and these are always 60 degrees by the way that's why our center drills are 60 degrees now again wipe these off and clean everything and if it's going to be in there for a long time always put a little bit of co coat of oil on there because sometimes in uh, industry a center may be put into a, a lathe tailstock and left there for years because they're doing the same operation so you want to make sure that's oiled and does not get seized I'm putting these in real gently now, but if you're going to use them, of course, you'd tap them in uh, lightly with the lead hammer. Uh, here's a couple of different uh, live centers, ball bearing centers. Uh, I like this little one here. This bigger one here is an ENCO, and you can see that sometimes these are bulky and they're in the way of uh, your work or your tool holder. So uh, I like, I prefer the small ones. This one's brand new. Um, made in China probably, darn near everything else around here, if it isn't old, is made in China. Now, this is what I was talking about a minute ago. Concentric is the brand, and that's the spring-loaded live center. I don't know if this shows up on the camera, but there is a spring there, and of course there's a 
thrust bearing in there. I think it's a ball, but these are so expensive they come in a little presentation case and slide the cover back and there's your concentric number two more staper. Uh, again, spring loaded. This is always this is my perennial favorite. Install that and you've got a little bit of spring back there for when your work expands. Take good care of those because they cost a king's ransom. Okay, uh, this concludes this short little video. In the next one I'm going to show you uh, various chucks, drill chucks and uh, other accessories that can be held in the tailstocks. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.